Um, what is your favorite sci-fi novel or series of novels? Okay, first off, I really don't like the novel as an art form. I've read plenty of novels, but I'm just not really big into novels. Um, not, it's not my favorite, okay? I, I prefer sci-fi short stories. Love those, okay? Um, Philip K. Dick, that's my boy, all right? I love his stuff. Um, but my favorite sci-fi novel, which is the real question, um, okay, Robert Heinlein's Starship Troopers. I read that once a year, usually in the summer, but not always. Um, it takes me about eight hours to get through it. I'm not a typically fast reader, but I can get through that novel in about eight hours of sitting down. Um, not that I read it all in one day. It usually, I, usually I read it over the course of a week. So, you know, an hour or so at a sitting. Um, so that that's my favorite. And the reason that I like that is I like what he has to say about uh, duty and responsibility. Um, and it's just a great action novel, too. Uh, I just love it. And please do not confuse it with the movie based on the dust jacket of the same name, okay? The movie has nothing, none of the content of the novel. And I realize it's a juvenile novel. It was written for kids, but I still love it. I still read it all the time. Uh, well, once a year, not like I'm constantly reading it. But, yeah, that's my favorite. Um... What one thing would you change about yourself that you think would help change the world? No superpowers. What would I change about myself um, that I think would help change the world? Wow, that's... Yeah, that's... A, and no superpowers. Well, you know, I don't really want superpowers um, because Batman still kicked Superman's ass. Okay? I, I will just point that out. Batman doesn't have anything in superpowers. I mean, I guess he's really smart, but that's not really a superpower. Um, so, yeah, I, I would love to be Batman, or like, a, not Batman, because that's, that's already been done, but I'd like to be another guy like Batman. Um, but that's, that's not my answer, but just as, a, as an aside, that would be cool. That would be super duper cool. Um, but what would I change about myself that I think would ch would help change the world? Um, I would like to have more willpower. Um, because a lot of times I find myself, I really should be doing something else, and I'm not. Um, you know, I, I really should be going and, you know, helping out at the local soup kitchen, but I'm just too freaking lazy. Um, I really should, you know, donate some more money to this charity or that charity, but hey, you know, I gotta buy this other, you know, stupid crap. Meanwhile, you know, somebody in, you know, some, you know, shithole somewhere, you know, doesn't have food, but I'm gonna have my, you know, my whatever, my nice hoodie or some other bullshit that I don't really need. And I end up buying crap that I don't need. I, I, I really try to not be a consumer. But, I mean, you know, like, I, I showed my Star Trek uniform the other day. Um, you know, all right, now I handmade that, and it was all out of fabric and crap like that. But what the hell did I need to be doing that for? I should have been somewhere else. I wish I just had the willpower to just say, you know what, why don't I just do stuff that really matters? Um, and it's not like I, that I shouldn't take time to relax. You know, that's, you know... That's another. That's another issue. That yeah, take time to relax. Because if you're if you're not well mentally, physically, whatever you know, you're not doing anybody any good. But it's just it's that kind of crap. I I always spend too much. You know, I budget myself. You know, just you know maybe you know five to ten bucks a month to go like buy just something for myself just to to have this out of the other thing. You know, like card stock for my printer so I can make my card stock models and crap like that. But I always go over a budget. And, you know, it's it's like stupid crap like that, and I'm behind in payments for, uh, like, you know, sponsoring children overseas and stuff, because I'm doing stupid crap. So I, I really, honestly, if I actually could focus my normal powers, not my superpowers, but my normal powers, to actually do the crap that I know I'm supposed to be doing to help other people out, yeah, that's what I would really like to do, because, you know, everybody, if everybody did that, we could, we could really change the world, but I know I could change the world... A little bit, or at least a little bit more, if I would just actually stop spending money on myself for crap 
that I really, absolutely, 100% do not need. That would be the one change. So uh, that's all that I've got here uh, for the video. So um, thank you, everyone, for your excellent questions. I had a lot of fun uh, playing this game. Um, and, you know, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for playing with me. Thanks for engaging me on YouTube. It's been a fun first uh, 50 or so videos. Um, so, you know, thanks a lot. And uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I find that I, I just can't really enforce this rule of one question, one question only. Um, I just can't be that big of a jerk. I've got to respond to the second question posted by uh, Power to Life. Uh, where he says, what do you think the biggest problem in the world is today? That's a good question. Personally, I think the biggest problem in the world today is selfishness and greed. I don't know that that's just new for today or, you know, or recently, the modern world, but I just think in a world where everyone can be fed, clothed, and housed, the fact that we still have horrible, debilitating poverty and hunger in the world, starvation, I think that's despicable. And I'm not exactly sure how we go about solving that problem, but it's not being solved now because of greed and selfishness. So... Um, yeah, that's, that's my answer for that. So thanks for all the questions again and thanks for watching.